interested, I do have a separate video of the entire tour of the Bangalore International Airport Lounge linked in the description box below. Don't forget to check it out. These lagoons are called atolls and are formed by corals and this is the famous Maldives sky that you see from your seaplanes. And finally, after that very short two-hour journey, we're almost here. Hello you wonderful souls, I'm Jeevna Hegde and welcome to Jeev's Travel Edition Maldives Series Part 1. On arrival tourist visas are granted to all nationalities provided you satisfy the basic entry requirements. I just got my visa, done with the immigration, walking out of the airport to be greeted by this incredible view. I'm already in love. Now let's get started on exploring how you can save money in 7 ways on your trip to Maldives. Based on how far your island resort is from the Maldives airport located in the capital city of Mali, you can either take the seaboat or the seaplane. Be mindful that the seaplanes have limited schedules and can be weather dependent. So in case of any delays or cancellations, you're expected to spend that time in the lobby or the city. So pick a resort accordingly. And in any case, ensure that the transfer charges and green taxes are included in your package. If not, it can turn out to be quite expensive. We packed a resort 15 minutes away via the seaboat to save some time and since anyway we saw the atolls from our flight, I don't think I missed much on the seaplane experience. That's a resort! We've finally reached the Sai Lagoon Curio Collection by Hilton and it's our place for the next three nights. Sai Lagoon Maldives is a part of an extremely unique destination called Crossroads. Crossroads Maldives is the country's first integrated leisure and entertaining resorts. It has two resorts, the Hard Rock Hotel Maldives and the Sai Lagoon Maldives. It has a third component which is the Marina Crossroads which has additional cafes, restaurants and the country's first luxurious yacht harbour and much more. If you are staying in either of the two resorts, you can use all the facilities of the entire Crossroads. So this is a big win and turns out to be very cost effective. We'll definitely be exploring more of this as we go. So stay tuned. begin to explain how relaxing this feels. The warm weather, the blue sky and water, the sounds of the waves crashing. It's all just perfect. Had a delicious Indian meal at the incredible Miss Olive Oil restaurant and probably some of the best desserts I've ever had. Opt for full board or half board meal plans for huge savings as compared to separate meals but also have that luxurious experience as compared to packaged food. Hey, this 
resort offers a bunch of different stay options and for our first night here, we're staying at the beach room. So I just thought I'd show you guys around. It says clean stay here which means it's been sanitized. Let's see how it is. This is the entrance of the beach room. To the left here, we have a wardrobe with a locker and set of bathrobes. And to the right, we have the shower area. Not too big but luxurious I'd say. It's got a pretty glass door as well for the shower head. The toilet here and the two wash basins there. Moving on, we have some really pretty Maldivian artifacts here. We have two beds here which are very comfortable and a third bed here which is great. Let's acknowledge this really cute turtle sack over here and I think it's adorable. And finally, the highlight has got to be this view. Voila! It's the beach. There's a small seating area here for you to sit back and relax. And maybe have a cup of coffee in the evening. And this directly opens up to the beach. How cool is that? And for now, let's take it in. I agree that the popular water villas are totally worth the hype. But unfortunately, beach rooms and beach villas are highly underrated for how incredible the experience is. So I'd suggest staying at least one night here before your nights at the water villa so the excitement lasts for both types of your stay. And it can save you a lot of money. Q Cinematic Montage My next tip for you is to book your trip during a shoulder season, which is the period of time between a region's peak season and off season. We went for a nice swim in the warm water of one of the infinity pools. Headed to the other resort, the Hard Rock Hotel, for the evening. restaurant right now called The Elephant and the Butterfly for some Mexican dinner.
who doesn't love some live music after a delicious dinner? Finally, headed back to my room after that lovely evening. I had to stay out for a bit to enjoy this cool breeze and this gorgeous view from my room and called it a day. Okay, sorry, I don't intend to leave you hanging for too long. My last tip for you is to book your stay through travel agencies with exclusive resort tie-ups for huge discounts as opposed to booking online directly with the resorts. I really hope you enjoyed part 1 of the Maldives series and found the 7 tips useful. Please show your support by liking this video and of course subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell icon to get notified because I have some very exciting content coming for you.